Well, friends, this is usually an upbeat weekly uh, update that I give uh, the 60 second insights into what the Smart Cities Council has been doing uh, for the week in Australia and New Zealand. Um, but it's a challenging one at the moment and I wanted to spend a little bit of time uh, sharing what's going on in our world and also uh, what we're thinking and, and what we're working on as well. I suppose I wanted to start by saying first and foremost uh, our thoughts are with uh, all of our friends, our network, our staff, uh, our members. Um, I personally uh, haven't really had any significant impact uh, in my immediate sort of family network, but I do know that others out there uh, are certainly uh, being very challenged by the COVID-19 pandemic. And we wish everyone well during this, this period of time. This is certainly a time to build resilience. That idea of resilience really comes into mind. Uh, our day job at the Smart Cities Council is to try and really help build awareness and capacity and capability, helping cities um, embrace technology and data to deliver great services and to uh, enhance livability. Um, so now we're really being tested by um, the theory uh, and a lot of the, the advocacy uh, that, we, that we promote. As an organisation at the Smart Cities Council, um, we're building our resiliency as well. Um, it's affected us in a few ways uh, in our day jobs of really trying to bring the community together uh, to inform, to, to educate stories. Um, sure, some of our uh, traditional means of doing that in person via some of our conferences uh, has been impacted. Uh, Smart Cities Week San Diego, well, we've had to cancel this year. That was to happen next month. We are still confident, hopefully, uh, but who knows what the future holds. Uh, Smart Cities Week uh, DC uh, in late September. Uh, we still have that uh, on, on the drawing board. We're still planning, we're, we're, we're still working on that. Closer to home here, Smart Cities Week Australia, uh, which was scheduled as an in-person event from the 26th to the 28th of August this year in Melbourne. Uh, we, we have uh, made the announcement last week that we're not proceeding with that event as an in-person event. Uh, we did make a statement that we are uh, transitioning and pivoting uh, what was originally our core traditional way of bringing our community together in person, but we'll be doing that via various means uh, over the coming seven months and we that by the time we get to November uh, we've put a bit of a flag in the ground that we'll host an in-person networking day on the 12th of November and, and celebrate our Smart Cities Awards that evening. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of time between now and November. However, what I want to do say is, going back to that idea of building resilience, uh, communication is key and our digital infrastructure is kind of holding up all right here in Australia uh, with a significant work from home uh, population now in place, uh, homeschooling uh, and, and other, uh, other events and things that have gone online. We're really testing our, our, our digital capability uh, and I'm excited by what I've seen uh, a lot of new, uh, a lot of newcomers to the idea of working remotely but also via video. Um, has of course uh, created a couple of challenges, but I'm really excited to, to see us come together on video now in many different ways. The Smart Cities Council as a, uh, as a global organization, uh, we, we've been virtual uh, via video for, for many years, so it's been quite a seamless transition for us. Uh, but what we are doing is we're using um, our experience, we're using our uh, digital infrastructure uh, to make sure that for our members, uh, for our cities and other government agencies and NGO friends who we do engage with, we can keep that going. Uh, and over the coming weeks and months, uh, with respect to Smart Cities Week Australia, we'll be offering a whole range of different online engagements. Uh, we think it's still very important whilst um, overwhelmingly challenging as it is, this crisis, we still think it is important that we come together and we connect uh, I've put in place personally uh, a, uh, a sort of a goal of spending at least a dower, an hour a day on video with a peer or a friend uh, outside of normal work video conferencing uh, to just 
sort of try and make sure that my mental health is, is good and I really encourage everyone to try and set a little bit of a target around that. Um, on, the, on the work front, we've, um, we've been busy globally. Smart Cities Week, as I mentioned, San Diego and Australia uh, are sort of pivoting. We've had the Global Readiness Challenge, which we launched in January. Um, of course, we never, uh, we never sort of predicted that we'd be where we are today at the moment with respect to COVID-19, but our Readiness Challenge which has got more than 40 cities around the world now who have, uh, who have gone into the system and started registering uh, their relevant information to participate in a global cohort of, of project uh, planning and sharing. Um, that, uh, that, that extension has been given in terms of applications. Uh, so go to our website to, to check that out. Um, we've been working on the uh, ASEAN award component of our readiness challenge. That's ready to launch, we're just waiting for the right time. So really, as I've mentioned previously, um, trying to encourage uh, and reward uh, best practice in smart urban development throughout South Southeast Asia. So that'll be coming shortly. And our National Smart Cities Awards here for Australia and New Zealand, um, they're ready to go, uh, but we just haven't pushed the button on that yet. So stay tuned, I know a couple of, uh, of organisations have reached out to us wanting to know how they can access uh, those awards schemes. So we'll be extending the deadline for those, but more information will be coming shortly. In terms of this week, it's been a, it's been a busy week. Uh, we haven't slowed down at all. If, if anything, things have gotten busier. Uh, we're creating a lot of online content. Uh, our podcast, The Smart Cities Chronicles, um, we're, we're ramping up uh, production of episodes there. We've got our Week in Data sub-series that is going now, which are short half-hour conversations with data enthusiasts and data leaders. Um, but we've also got our traditional podcasts coming through. We've got some exciting episodes which we'll be publishing uh, today uh, and every few days. Um, we've been having some uh, really interesting, uh, challenging, but interesting uh, online discovery sessions and think tanks just this week. Yesterday, we, uh, we had a, a three hour online smart infrastructure think tank. Um, what does what, what are sort of the immediate smart infrastructure needs look like for Australia and more longer term as well? You know, stimulus is going to flow. It is flowing now. It'll continue to come in various forms. What's the role of, of infrastructure development, which is a huge part of the Australian economy? And of course, how do we make sure that's smart? Um, so we spent three hours online yesterday um, really digging into sort of short, medium and long term smart infrastructure uh, sort of goals and recommendations for Australia and that'll, uh, that'll flow out in some of our advocacy and other research work that we're doing over the coming months. Um, today uh, we're actually running a, a very interesting session, two hours, um, really focused around small business, um, catalyzing eco economic development in these current challenging times. Uh, and what the, what, what's the role of data? You know, what's the community uh, health uh, what's the business health of our communities and neighbourhoods? Um, so we're bringing together a, a small group of cities and some of our members to, to really dig into that. It's really hard at the moment to think about not only dealing and, and, and building sort of some, some relief now, uh, but there will be that time where we need to pivot and of course we need to adapt longer term. And I think the, the post COVID-19 sort of world uh, is going to look a little bit different. Um, and so, you know, we don't want to lose sight that we're going to come through this uh, and indeed uh, things are going to be more exciting. And we think the role of technology and data, we know it's playing a critical role to keeping the economy moving right now, allowing us to work from home. But we also think that um, data uh, is, is certainly on show at the moment, um, hotspot mapping, uh, real time uh, data, uh, we're observing what other countries are doing and we think here in Australia that the role of data in really building from the neighbourhood up uh, a sense uh, and understanding of what matters, what people feel and of course how small business can thrive is an important, uh, is an important agenda to advance. So we're going to start some thinking around that as well and we'll share what the outcomes of that are. So thanks for bearing with me for this sort of uh, much extended version of 60 Second Cities for the week. We'll keep updating you with what's happening, uh, how you can engage with us. Um, we wanna keep projects moving and we wanna keep people uh, healthy uh, above all. And so we wanna play our part in bringing our community together. 
Uh, what we will be doing uh, as of tomorrow, uh, Friday the 27th, is we'll be hosting uh, a virtual happy hour, two hours every Friday afternoon, 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Our first one is tomorrow, looking forward to it. We've got uh, stakeholders from across Australia and New Zealand, public sector, private sector, uh, looking forward to, to bringing that community together and sharing and hanging out together uh, and really just sort of um, uh, making sure that we, we sort of continue to, to build our, our networks and uh, keep our friends close to us and really look after our mental health. Uh, our thoughts are with everyone. Uh, you can always contact us. Thanks for listening.